Hello everyone, in the last lecture we have seen a story behind the Towers of Hanoi problem. In this lecture we will learn about the solution, how to find the solution of the Towers of Hanoi problem. Let us say we have three towers. Let me remind you what the, what the Tower of Hanoi problem is. There, there are three towers, let's say A, B, C. There are some disks on A tower and if we consider it the disk from the top, the disks are in the ascending sequence towards the bottom in the size and the the problem is to shift the entire disk arrangement to C taking this P as a mediator so A is working as a source B is working as a mediator and C is working as the destination at a time only one disk can be picked Okay, only one disk can be picked at a time and no bigger disk can be kept over smaller one. Okay, but the smaller disk can come over the bigger one. A bigger one, a smaller one, a smaller one. Over the bigger one, a smaller one can come, but over the smaller one, a bigger one cannot come. So we have to shift the same arrangement to this destination. And the mediator tower can be used as a mediator for keep for taking or for keeping the disk for a rest for a time being. Okay, so this is the problem and let us try to find out a solution for this. Now suppose we have only one disk on A. So these are the towers A, B and C. Let's say we have only one disk on A. So this disk can be transferred to the destination directly without taking a help of the tower B which is a mediator. So if we have only one disk that can be transferred to the destination directly. Now suppose we have two disks. Okay, let's say we have two disks. Let's say we have numbered these disks 1 and 2. So if we have to transfer these disks, what can be done? That this disk, smaller one, can be kept in the mediator that is B. Then we can transfer this 2 number to the destination. And then finally, this disk which was kept in the mediator, mediator can be shifted back to C. So what uh, shiftings we have done? We have first shifted the disk number 1 from A to B. It means source to mediator. In the second step, we have transferred a disk from source to destination. Finally, the disk which was there in the mediator, that is the B, is transferred to C and the same, same arrangement has been transferred to C. So you can also look this as like one disk was transferred to the mediator, leftover one disk was transferred to the destination and the disk which was transferred to the mediator was transferred back to the destination. Okay, now let's take the example of three disks. Let's say we have the towers and there are three disks, one, two and three. This is source. Fine. Now, uh, we are doing the transfer. First disk is transferred to destination A to C. Okay. The first disk is transferred to destination A to C. The second disk is transferred to B. Okay. This C, which was having a one disk, the disk is transferred to B. Okay, so now after transfer of this, the disk A, uh, uh, sorry, the, the tower A contains only one disk, that is three. B contains two disk, and C contains no disk. So after this, the one disk which is there in the A tower can be shifted to the C. Okay, now if you see that the top two disk 
of A tower was transferred to B. In the same arrangement, they will be transferred to C. So how will that be done? This disk is transferred to A and then this disk is transferred to C and one disk which, is come, which has come to A tower will be shifted to destination. Okay, let me repeat what we what was done. This is A, this is B, this is C. One, two, three. So what we have we have a task of shifting the top two disk to mediator, but the shifting top two disk to the mediator is not possible at in one stake. So what was done? First one is transferred to C. So A to C transfer. Okay, and then this two is transferred to B. So the transfer is from A to B. And then the C disk, the disk which is there in the C is brought to B because this was our task to bring top n minus one disk or top two disk to mediator one. So this was was there in the B. Sorry, C has been brought back to B. So now the arrangement is that uh, A has one disk only. B has two disk and C has no disk. And since A has only one disk, according to this rule, this has to be transferred to destination. So three number is there in the destination. So transfer from A to C. Now A has no disk, B has two disk, and C has one disk. So the arrangement which has been come, which has come to mediator, will be transferred to the destination. For this. This disk has come to has come to A. It means B to A transfer, and then this this to C. So from B to C, and one disk which has come to A will be transferred to C. So A to C. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven movement has taken place. In this. Okay. So now this can be considered as we have taken the three examples. One is this one, in which we had only one disk. So, if we have only one disk, in that case, the disk has been has been transferred from source to destination. But if we have more than two, more than one disk, such as this one, if we had two disks, so one disk is transferred to the mediator, and then one disk is transferred to destination, and the mediator disk have to be transferred to destination. So out of two, one is transferred to mediator. Okay, one is transferred to destination and the mediator vertex is now transferred to the destination. Destination is C here. Okay, so from A to B is the transfer first transfer and then A to C is the next transfer and the mediator to destination is the third transfer. So three movements have taken place. Now suppose we had three disks. So in the case of three disks, what has happened? We have first transferred top two disks to the mediator. So two disks were transferred to mediator that is B and then one disk was transferred to destination. One disk was transferred to destination. And then the two disks which have come to the mediator were transferred to the destination. So two disks which have come to mediator have been transferred to destination. Now we know that for the movement of two disks from one tower to the other tower takes three steps. This is the three step. We have already seen that. Similarly, transfer of two disks from one uh, tower to the other one takes three steps. And this is the one step from source to destination. A total of seven steps have taken place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps have taken place. So now if you correlate this, if we have one disk, we require one movement. If we have two disks, we require three movements. If we have three disks, we require seven movements. So this can be two square minus one. This is two cube minus one. Similarly, if we have n disk on one tower or the source tower, the total number of movements that will take place is 2 raised to the power n minus 1. Okay, 
Now let us try to write the solution for this. We have seen that we have three towers. Let us say the towers are source, mediator and destination. And let us say we have end disk. And we are writing the solution as towers of Hanoi. It is known that if the number of disks are 1, then what we will do? Then we will transfer this from source to destination. Okay? But if you have more than two disks, if n is 1, we are doing this. If more than two disks, then what we are doing? We are transferring n minus 1 disk from source to mediator in the same order. For this purpose, we can take the destination as a mediator. See what is here, source, mediator, destination. Source, from source, we need to transfer the disk to destination. For this purpose, we can take a mediator as a help. Similarly, the top n minus 1 disk is being transferred from source to mediator. We can take destination as a mediator for a time being. So, the solution of this will also be recursive. So, we are writing the recursive solution. Okay. Now, one of the disk which has remained in the source that needs to be transferred destination. Okay. So, transfer one disk to destination or you can write in the same way. Transfer one disk from source to destination. Now, our final task will be done only if the disks which have come to the mediator are transferred to the destination. So, the n minus 1 disk which have come to the mediator needs to be transferred to the destination. For this purpose, we can take source as a mediator. So, this process will also be recursive because I do not know how many disks will be there. So, this is the recursive solution for the towers of Hanoi problem. So, if we have one disk only transfer that to the destination directly. But if not one disk, then it is a three step process. In the first step, I need to transfer n minus one disk from source to mediator, then one disk from source to destination, and then n minus one disk which have come to the mediator needs to be transferred to the destination. Okay. Now, let us take an example. By this so only, you can take the example. So, we have a process of transferring three disks from source to destination, taking mediator as a destination, uh, sorry, taking M as a mediator. So, for this purpose, if you see what is happening here, the number of disks are three, which is greater than one. So, we will come to these three steps. So, three steps will be called. In the first step, you need to transfer n minus 1 disk means 2 disk from source to mediator. So, we are actually calling towers of NI problem with 2 disk and writing S D M. So, what we are changing here, you, you, you need to check S is S here, M and D are exchanged. Here it is M and D and here we have written D and M. Okay? So, we just need to take care in the first step s remains same the last two are exchanged next what we need to do we need to transfer the disk from s to d and then the third step is two disk n minus one disk from mediator to destination and taking source as a mediator so here what we are doing we are exchanging the first two s and m m and s d remains same Okay, so in the first step we are exchanging M and D means the last two terms and here we are exchanging first two terms. Okay, now since this is a recursive call first this will be taken and we will call again these three steps because the number of disks are more than one. So for this 
recursive function will be called we need to transfer n minus 1 disk means 1 disk n is 2 here 1 disk what we need to change we need to change last two values so s m d and then one disk needs to be transferred from this to this s to m and then one disk needs to be transferred to okay we need to exchange these two first two values so d s m fine so this is the recursive call so this will be called first rest will remain inactive so here we have number of disks as one so we have already seen that if we have only one disk so that disk needs to be transferred to destination directly so i need to transfer s to d okay so once this transfer is done our step is done we will come to this now this step will be performed and then there is a recursive call so in this recursive call the value of n is 1 according to this recursive function with the value of n is 1 this is the base condition in this base condition the disk needs to be transferred from source to destination it means d to m this step is performed now we will come to this this step will be performed and then we will come to this this is a recursive call so in this recursive call the number of disk are more than 1 so t o h n minus 1 we need to exchange last two first m d s and then m to d and then first two needs to exchange s and m okay since this is the recursive call so this will be called first for this m to s because the number of disk is 1 the base condition so m to s transfer and then this one after this this one this is again a base condition because the number of disk is 1 here okay the recursive call this is the base condition so the transfer needs to take place as s to d okay s to d now if you count the steps how many steps have been performed and what was the first step followed by the next steps let us just write the numbers in the steps so this is the first step which was performed this is the second step this is the third step this is the fourth step this is the fifth step sorry i'm sorry i'm really very sorry this is the first step this is the second step this is the third step and after this we need to come to this okay so this is the fourth step and then after this i need to come to this this is the fifth step and then this is the sixth step and then finally this one which is the seventh step okay now you can uh, write similar similar question for you because in the various universities examination this is being asked you draw the tree for towers of an eye for source mediator destination okay this will be interesting one wherein you will require 2 raised to the power 4 minus 1 means 15 shifts so 15 steps will be performed so after uh, writing all these things you need to list out the steps also so that's why the first step if you see is s to d so s to d is the first step next step is s to m next step is d to m next step is s to d next step is m to s and then next step is m to d next step is s to d so this is the final number of steps or final sequence of steps in the solution to the towers of an eye problem okay now let's look at this uh, towers of an eye function once again just to summarize what has happened this is a recursive function wherein there are n number of disks these are the towers if the number of disk is 1 we will transfer that to the destination directly if n is not 1 this uh, n is 1 n equals to 1 means this is the base condition and if the base condition is not appearing the value of n is not 1 it is greater than 1 we will perform three steps in the three steps 
we need to transfer n minus 1 disk from source to mediator and then the single disk will be transferred from source to destination and then n minus 1 disk which is there in the mediator will is needed to be transferred to the destination finally so this is the tower of an eye solution thank you